3.1, translations. So now we're going to start translations and transformations. Uh, let's talk about translations first. Translation is just a slide. It's either vertical or horizontal. So for instance, consider the graphs of these functions, right? So y equals or f of x equals x squared. What does plus one do? Shifts it up one. Negative two, shifts it down two, right? Plus five, shifts it up five. Now, when it's inside the brackets, you gotta remember that it's the opposite of it. So for instance, what number do we plug in this to make this zero? Negative one. So this is gonna slide at one to the left. <coughs> x plus, uh, sorry, x minus two, we plug in a positive two, it's gonna shift it two to the right. And this one's gonna shift it five to the left, right? So for instance, so we have f of x equals x cubed. Well, the same thing is going to happen, right? If it's a plus 3 on the outside, right, it's going to shift it, the whole thing, up 3. If it's inside, it's going to shift it negative 3, so it's going to shift it to the left, right? So vertical slide is on the outside, horizontal slide is on the inside. That's the same thing from what we did in grade 11. That doesn't change, even though we're going to be dealing with cubics, cortex, and quint uh, quintics, or cortex, and quintics. Okay, now, so let's look at a basic example. Flip the page there. Example 2. If the graph y equals f of x, you can see the key points here. So here they are, right? 0, 0, um, 3, uh, 3, 2, uh, 7, 2, 9, 0. What happens when we do things to? So sketch the graph f, uh, f of x plus 2. So that is going to take the whole thing and shift it to this one right here, 2 to the left. So right here, it's going to shift every point 2 to the left. OK, that's not that bad. What about this down here? F y equals f of x plus 3. Well, that's going to take the original graph here and shift every point up 3. Okay. Now, what if we have a combination? y equals f of x plus 2 and x plus 3. Well, that's going to shift all the x points 2 to the left and all the y points up 3. And you can just set them up as a table of values and do all those for you, or you can just look at the graph and do that. So, okay. So it's a really short lesson because it's only on translations. Okay. <clears throat> 